Welcome to this uh, video tutorial where I would like to talk about uh, light maps, Blender and uh, Babylon. To put a little, a little bit of the context, uh, this, uh, all the, the steps that I'm going to follow are in some way already either in forums or in some video tutorials, but none of them put together these elements. And this can be a very challenging task uh, for beginners like myself. No? The starting point for me was uh, Babylon. So Babylon is this uh, JavaScript library, whereas as you can see here, you can have in a web browser these 3D experiences uh, for, for gaming, for, for showcase or for different purposes. Babylon has uh, very interesting uh, features and I've used it uh, for a personal project to just showcase gallery or these 3D galleries where you can see that performance is, is uh, quite fast. I don't have a specially fast uh, a graphic card. And you can see that the resolution, for example, in some cases can be quite good. It has, however, some limitations. The main limitations are the lightning uh, possibilities that it offers. So it doesn't have like a ray tracing engine as uh, on the contrary, Blender does. So Blender, for those of you who don't know, it's this now very complex and uh, extraordinary software for, for 3D modeling, rendering, and, and these many other applications. Uh, Babylon can import uh, models that have been built by Blender. For example, this uh, intermediate hole that I was showing at the beginning. This is uh, rendered with, with uh, Blender. It means that all these light effects are baked into the textures of the walls. And this comes at some cost. Uh, the level of resolution here is not as good as the, the one that we showed uh, in the other room. Uh, it can be increased uh, at the end if, if we make this uh, back tex textures uh, high resolution we can we can have a similar level of quality but that would come as uh, some computational cost either the the whole model is going to be bigger or the performance of the system is going to be affected by by these larger textures so what if we can just have the best parts of of both applications so we can have uh, on the one hand babylon for for the generation of of the of the gallery so for three for these 3d spaces but all the lightning conditions are coming from blender and from his from its um, cycles or from its uh, ray tracing engine okay let's uh, jump into into blender here we are in the the default project of uh, blender before i start i would like to to mention that in the video description i will include the three main links that I used uh, to create this tutorial. Two of them are from the Babylon forums and one is, to the best of my knowledge, is uh, the only or uh, if not one of the very few videos, at least in uh, the version 3 of Blender, covering uh, how to create the light map and export it uh, as an image. So we have here our default uh, cube. Uh, we're going to raise it uh, one unit so that when we create a plane it uh, stands uh, just on top of it so we go to simply shift a mess plane we scale this plane in the x y axis like this and this scaling that we have just done uh, we are going to apply it because uh, it's going to be important to to preserve the proportionality of the faces when we do the UV unwrapping. So we look for the command apply, scale. If not, uh, you can uh, just find it here. All right. So next thing that we are going to do is to go to to the UV editing menu. And we are going to create uh, one specific UV map uh, for for the light map. The, the main reason is that you may already have one. In a normal project, you have your own UV uh, unwrapping of, of the objects. And to have this specific one for the light map, you, you may reuse the existing ones, but uh, it's likely that you want to create uh, one uh, specific uh, for this task. So that's why 
well, we're, we're going to follow in the tutorial having a separate uh, UV map. So we are here in in the object data properties, UV maps. We have uh, currently the plane selected. So we add one UV map. We call it light map. We go to object mode, select the cube and create another one that we call it the same. So what we are going to do now is uh, the UV unwrap. We are going to unwrap the two objects, objects into the same light map. So we select uh, the two of them. We go into edit mode, select all the faces and we can go to UV light map pack. I'm going to use the the default options, you may need to increase this margin. This is going to be um, what uh, separates the different islands. And uh, if you have some some um, uh, undesirable effects because the shade or the light from one object uh, uh, somehow transfers to the other one, you may need to increase this margin. OK, so as we apply the scale, now we have this proportionality of of the faces to to the objects but as you can see the margin is is it's rather small so it it may be necessary to to increase it okay now that we have done the uv let's go to we go to the shading tab here and what we are going to do is to create uh, some materials uh, we select First, this uh, the cube. We go to to this part of the menu, the material properties, and this material we are gonna call it a cube material. We are gonna give it just to differentiate it some gray color. We select uh, the plane, create new material that we are gonna call it plane mat. Material. And let's give it uh, some brownish color. Okay. Good. Now, what we are going to do is to create, we are going to create the image that is going to to a store that is going to, is going to record uh, our light map. So we come here, new, um, let's call it light map as well. The resolution, this will be up to you. We're going to do the example with uh, 1024, but you could go much higher to 2K or 4K. OK, so this is the image where we will have the light map. Now we need to create the image texture node. So we search for texture image, image texture. We have the plane selected. We also select uh, the UV map node that we are going to join. And here we select light map and here we select light map here we are selecting this image that we have just created and here the light the, the uv map that uh, we created previously okay let's go to the cube and we repeat the same process have the uv map have the image texture here we select light map here light map Okay, so here things uh, become a bit critical because we need to follow certain steps and if we miss some of them, it will not work. You can also use maybe some tool for taking care of the baking. Here we're gonna do it uh, just uh, using Blender as, as, as 
in the, like, like in the default installation without any add-on. So we need to make sure of several things. Um, first is that the, uh, with this object selected, the, the cube, this texture node is selected. We move to the plane and also this light map node is selected. We move here to the object data properties, to the UV maps. We select for rendering the second UV map that we created. We select uh, the cube and we do the same. And now we are ready to do the light map uh, baking. To do that, we move to, to the render properties. We select uh, cycles. I'm going to reduce the number of samples here just to make it fast. And uh, what is important is to go to this bake section where we need to change the bake type from the default, which is going to be combined to diffuse. And we deselect the contributions of color. So we are just going to have direct light and indirect light. So we are ready to go. So we select both objects and we click on bake. And now we can see the progress here of the two objects. First one is finished. and the second one as well. Okay, so we here we have uh, our light map and you can see that what has been baked in this image is the relative intensity of the light hitting the, the different surfaces of the geometry of our scene. Okay, now we would go to image and we would uh, just save this image because we are going to need it uh, to import it in, in a separate way in Babylon. So let's uh, just save it uh, maybe as a lightmap.png uh, or, or a, the format uh, that you want. Um, one aspect that I would like to mention and let's go to, to the layout view and to to the, to the viewport shading. In Blender, we have the option in the rendering options, if we go all the way down to color management, we have the option to change the contrast of the light uh, in, by tweaking with this uh, color management option. So for example, here we have a look set to none, but we can have it as very low contrast or we can have it as very high contrast. This uh, changes the depth of this uh, illumination or the depth of the shadows. We could also do it by changing the, the gamma. The gamma is how the, let's say, uh, the intensity is encoded into the RGB values. And this has a, an important impact in the, in the contrast of the image. However, this doesn't affect, or at least, um, to the best of, uh, of my knowledge, this doesn't affect the way in which the light map is baked. This is just um, visualization. Uh, it's a visualization option. If you have uh, some way to modulate uh, the way in which this, um, this light map is applied, so the relative contrast, uh, let me know in the comments because uh, as we will see in, in a minute, it's, uh, it's important when we move to, to Babylon. So let's move to to the Babylon uh, sandbox. Okay, so what I did was to save the, um, the binary file, which is this uh, GLB file, just exported uh, from, from Blender. I've put it in, uh, 
uh, in GitHub together with the light map uh, created in the tutorial. And this is the, the Babylon uh, sandbox. I will also put the link in the video description. And basically this is a very simple code that proves the concept that, uh, that we want to do. No? So we are basically importing uh, the scene from this uh, GLB file. We are setting up some basic, env basic environment like uh, um, a light. And what we are doing is to go through the two materials of the scene, the cube and the plane, and just applying this uh, light map. This light map that is loaded as a separate texture. So this is a bit of a limitation. So we cannot embed in, a, in the GLB file the light map. It has to be exported as a separate file. That's why here it's convenient to have the same light map for the two objects. Imagine that we have a, an image with, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 objects. We have the option either to have light maps for those individual ob objects or to have a unique light map for all, light map for, for all of them. So in this case, uh, we are just applying to the two materials the light map. It's very important to, to realize that the, the UV coordinates that we have to apply are the second one, second one that created that we named them light map so that uh, when the file is exported will come as the second UV map. Uh, that's why here the index is not zero, it's one. And this is the, the result. Uh, so apart from these artifacts that we can see from the illumination, we can see that there's this light that is created, but it's a very faint, uh, it's a very faint effect. If we want this effect to be uh, stronger, and this comes back to, to, the, to the previous comment about uh, how can we increase the contrast, uh, this is way more effective if we apply it as a, as a light map, uh, shadow map. And for this, I'm going to just uh, uncomment this part of the code. So this is a switch uh, from, not from the light map texture, but from the material. So if we run again, what we can see is that now certainly the effect is stronger. But the image is generally very, very dark. So in order to compensate that, we would need to increase the overall intensity of the light. So I'm changing it here, the light intensity from 1 to 30, for example. We run it again. And here we have uh, a much uh, nicer result uh, um, from, from what we wanted. So this is getting closer to, to what we had in, in Babylon. You can see here some of the artifacts. Uh, this is this margin, uh, this margin uh, option from the light map uh, because some of the have some bleaching from, from the neighboring uh, uh, faces. And that's, uh, that's all. Uh, uh, I hope you find it useful and, and helps you in your uh, journey with uh, with uh, Babylon. Thank you.